hi welcome to the twitter bootstrap tutorial uh, now this is my seventh tutorial and in this i'm gonna show you how to create a slideshow using twitter bootstrap classes so it basically uses a uh, crowser class so let's see the demo first i have already created this slideshow now change this slide okay now this is called indicators and these are the content and uh, this is anchor anchor left or you can this is left anchor and this is right anchor okay now come to the visual studio now i have just one div uh, it has an id and class clausel and second class is slide okay <coughs> excuse me data write equal to clausel okay now inside that i i have one order list which have class clausel indicator okay clausel indicator means this one Uh, this this one class browser in indicator and uh, now I have list item so it has a data target my browser means if you click on this this slide will be targeted to two particular running running slides okay <coughs> okay now I have one more diff class class browser inner means just like a body sections so uh, inside that you can just create and just uh, put your images for uh, for the slideshow okay now I have an anchor list okay so I have an anchor class left browser control and href is, it is targeting to the my browser is a particular current slideshow and it, it, it has a role button and data slide previous it's previous okay and now it has an icon chevron left this is particular icon and now we get in true it is nothing and spam class is our only and this is previous okay so this is a basic three uh, three thing one order list for this for uh, for that this one is our order list and second your content and the third one is the anchor list for left and right so now I will create just copy it and just paste it and just give a class right <coughs> data slide would be next okay now give a glyphicon icon right okay and now put this in the next now see the output how it look like this. So you have just do do anchor, okay. And now I am just going to put some images inside this browser inner class. And now first I I would copy this list. Means if I, I add three three images, then I have to um, I have just three list and just put it two and one of that uh, uh, add class active because when you load your page then your this list will be active okay okay so right now there is nothing and now I'm, I'm gonna add one diff give it to class item 
okay so inside that you can just have one image say img img must have a source and let's give the path of that show so slash date slash images slash now give a um, music okay uh, this one i just give uh, i just give this part okay now i just give one image now let's see how it looks like nothing and now i'm just giving uh it's nothing because one class must be active so i am just giving active so hopefully the image is edited but here is your image and i just give wrong part music and i just forget the extension j p g okay yeah and now you have three order list but there is no item added so zero one two okay so i have three or uh, three three browser indicator and uh, if you just click on next and previous you cannot find anything so i'm just adding some description also so i'm just giving one diff okay class for you browser caption okay so this is browser caption give paragraph find one browser caption also here it is okay and in all list you just find uh, this one is active if you put uh, this one active initially just cut it and just paste it now see see what is exactly happening When you load the page this one will be active okay and now the item is active div is there and now i want to copy copy and just paste it okay and remove this active class from this Sorry remove only the active part okay so i have three items and now i am just changing my three cards as you see training for jpt and next one is with website dot jpt so now i have three Now I can change the picture. Okay. Okay, but this is nothing. Hmm. So you have added three item. One is must one must be active suppose i just remove sorry i just cut it and just i just paste it so when the page load this image will be active one okay 
so hope you understand the logic so again I am just moving I'm just moving back I just I'm just deleting this so <clears throat> so you might have some concept okay so now the my browser and the browser has a class browser slide and uh, uh, remove this this is not necessary okay and uh, order list and this is indicator and this is the inner browser and this is anchor to controller to control this slide okay so in this way you can create your a fantastic browser a fantastic slideshow so hope you understand each and everything please uh, for uh, for more tutorial please uh, comment and <coughs> okay so I have seven seven tutorials so you if you have any kind of problem then please comment or message me uh, I am available every time to help you so bye bye